I would do a review of my pony form, but well, I'm working on a little project. So I can't have, I can't really use my movie maker, so I have to at least be in my human form for today. So this review will be on the, of course, the ever loving episode, or the ever worse one, where Rarity shows her full wine of power. Yeah, she's a unicorn, but she's a winicorn. She whines, she whines, she whines. Whines about the dogs. Want her to get a jewel. You know what I mean? <laughs> a dog and pony show. For this review, oh, sorry. <laughs> now, here's our start. Inside, inside Rarity's boutique. As Rarity's putting up the last gem on the garment, she heard a customer walk into a shop. She casually greeted the customer, only to find only the shop the pony of the pop, the sincerest sapphire sword. Mm. Oh yeah, she's like Whoopi Goldberg to me. Believe me, if I was like her, I'd be like, oh. kind of like that. <laughs> sapphire explains that she has heard of Rarity's fashion designs. And a local magazine came to browse the shop for design for upcoming tour. Rarity happily shown Sapphire her latest project, and a garment completely covered in gems. Sapphire takes an impotent liking to the bejeweling garment, saying that she'll buy it, buy more like it. And each one features a different jewel. Having used her entire gem, though, supplies. So, for just one outfit, Rarity faints. <laughs> and Sapphire's like, Yes, I do have that effect on ponies. Then we skip the intro. <sighs> with the assassins from Spike, Rarity goes to find a new load of gems outside Ponyville. With the first under cups, Spike can barely contain his hunger. As you know, dragons do love their diamonds and love to crunch them like candy. Or I say, rock candy. <laughs> Alright. Spike and Kelly, yeah, he'll eat a whole bunch. Rarity reminds them that they need to collect gems for Sapphire Shores outfit. Spike managed to, to stop his appetite, and in the end, Rarity rewarded him with a blue gem. Rather than eating it right away, she decided to keep it as a gift for his crest. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet? But then we get new creatures, the Diamond Dogs. Now, in the original um, My Little Pony series, we did have a Diamond Dog, but it was just one. It was that big, rocky beast called Rocco. You know, sometimes I wonder, you know the crystal heart that Rocco has in his body in a My Little Pony 90 series? Well, what if that was the crystal heart that, um, that, that Candace and her, and her husband have in their little, in their little kingdom? What if it belonged to a giant stone dog? Who could ever pick that up? I mean, come on. It makes sense. I mean, where did they get the crystal heart? They didn't make it. They got it from him. So maybe that's what will happen for My Little Pony. You never know. Season 8 and Season 9. <laughs> Believe me. In Season 9, I heard, ooh, Sombra. <laughs> yes, I still ship Sombra Twilight. Got a problem with it? Tell my tell my fans about it. Nah. <clears throat> I don't think I have any fans. Alright. In the bush of trio cans, call themselves Diamond Dogs. Yes, we hunt. We hunt for gems. But you're better hunt us, so now you hunt for us. That's what Rover would say to Verity, but not the end of that part. I couldn't resist doing it. <laughs> I've been practicing that voice. My face is... My face yes. <laughs> They are an ood and odd of the large hull of jewelry being carted along by a baby dragon, mistaking him for a gem tracker. Then they hear Rarity's voice and discover that she's the one finding gems. An ember and by the month, Rarity panics, but Spike inter intercepts them as Rarity can escape. However, they shake them off and succeed to deduce Rarity before escaping to the hole to the ground. After explaining the situation to Twilight, Pinky, Bloodshy, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack, Spike brings them to Spike. Spot where the where it happened. Only to see that the entire site led it with holes. And they counter the dogs but they've been outmaneuvered. Kinda like whack a mole, like you know, you're trying to <laughs> So basically, yeah, they tried. But unfortunately, the the dogs filled the holes and popped out of them, tipped over the ponies up. That's the point where by rarity, how frightened she must be. Spike uses his blue gem as a bait to catch one of the dogs. 
the fishing rod. Seeing this, Alvin did a fantasy sequel where Spike imagined himself as a Devon knight to come into very rescue the fishing line of snag. You know, we see his dream form in the dream when ponies dream of sleep, or princesses dream of sheep. Yeah. And he and the ponies are dragged through the large underground tunnel, giving way to the huge network of tunnels. They theorize that the dogs have taken Rarity down in the tunnel with most gems, but there is no way to find out, until Spike reminds Twilight that Rarity showed her how to track gems herself. Using the spell, Twilight locates the tunnel with most gems. But then the scented area to diamond dogs then the dogs demand ready to find gems from. She graciously finds them and asks to be a uh, go. But the dogs order her to dig them. She does it very slowly, effectively. A fish room pathetically shows pace. Lita calls her comrades to dig her. Ready proceeds to make things be difficult for dogs to complain. Oh, I cannot dig up these gems. Oh, this heart is hurting me. Oh, I feel so pain and so painful. <laughs> I love this. I'm playing in and it's just a way to even get numb to do all the work. But the dog soon decided to endure Rarity's constant whine as long as she dies as she was told. However, after one of the dogs called her a mule, Rarity breaks down. <laughs> and then things get a lot worse. But Oh, yeah, a lot of worse. And he starts to complain and yell and scream and scream. And then they start closing their ears like this. And then they all felt Rarity's fury. <laughs> Next to our be no, back to our friends. Spike and the ponies here. Rarity cries and rushes to help her. A ground, a guard dog, see them as newly workhorses and ambushes them. Following up with Jackson, the ponies buck the dogs off rodeo style. Yeah! At the Applejack Mew, she got pumping, lunking legs. After they get rid of the guards, Spike hopped on Twilight, embracing the last like saddle to, uh, like, you know, King Arthur and horses. Or Dougie would do right. You know what I mean. And they all gallop to Rarity's rescue. Then they find Rarity after she's already cowered the diamonds into some missing. The dogs tired of Rarity's whining, offered to give away all the gems they found, proving that ponies can't. Ponies take. Rarity with them. Yeah, it's definitely shown that Rarity can be sufficient, and when she's in trouble, she can deal with it herself. Huh. Pardon me. <sighs> On their way home, Rarity reveals the annoyance, annoying her captors with a rouge to keep them under control. I see this as a valuable lesson to write for Princess Celestia. Just because someone's ladylike doesn't mean they're helpless. And as they head on home, Spike tries to eat one of the gems, but was stopped. And they all laughed up, saying, Oh, Spike, you're funny. <laughs> or something like that. So that was the episode of A Dog and Pony Show. What do I say about the episode? I find out that Rarity has a deep secret power. Complaining! Even I did that when I was a girl. I would uh, get my mom and dad to get me everything by complaining and yelling and screaming. But hey, I was a kid. You're all kids like that. And believe me, it's how it was. Trust me, even when I was a kid, I made a bit of kid, but I had weapons. Now, the characters for each of them. It was fun to see Twilight acting like, I'll silver away with Spike on him. And it's like, even at those times, ponies were considered to be sat on in the human world. But in the pony world, no one sits on the ponies. Unless Spike. And that's Baby Dragon. And he is a baby dragon. Now then. Seeing the gang helping him along. However, they don't they didn't get a lot to do in this episode. Fluttershy is a protector of animals, but she didn't even use her animal skills for a diamond dog. As for as for well. As for Rainbow Dash, uh, bold and not enough range. As for Pinkie Pie, very funny and cute as usual. And as for Applejack, tough as ever with those hoops. Yeehaw! <laughs> and Spike, yeah, this is one of the episodes where Spike doesn't get well beaten up most of the time. Spike abuse people! Ugh. Also, my favorite part of the episode is, let's see, 
when we already wind them to let them go. And that's the part I like the best. Now then, Bokuru, I usually don't do these in videos, but I think I'll make this in the substance. I will tell you the next videos that I will be posting next when I review. <laughs> green is the new color, which I can't wait because technically, to tell you the truth, um, green is the new color was the first ever My Little Pony episode I ever saw from My Little Pony. Because actually, uh, green is the new color was my first episode I ever watched. It's true. It's the first one that I saw watch My Little Pony. Then, over barrel. Oh, God. Please, no. No more episode of God. I hate it. And a bird in a hoop. Oh, that's when we find out about phoenixes. Phoenixes are my favorite. And then the Kitty Marcus. Ooh, the Kitty Mark Crusade. The story of how the main six got their Kitty Marks. And I can tell you about, well, you know. And then Owl Wells at Endwell. No. <laughs> I guess it's the worst episode in season one. Party one? No. That's number one. I uh, will well in from two. And the last one is the best night ever. So, folks, my friends of the Brody group. Also, um, also, I actually drew a, um, a picture for my boss, for AJ, the artistic pony. Yeah. He asked me to draw this picture last night draw of his friends who did work hard on their pictures, too, for his pro for the projects. So I want to show you this guy. I want to show you the picture I drew last night. But you guys have to wait until I can get until I can find it first and get it up. Also, for the picture I did, I used bases. Not any one bases. My bases. Yes. I created bases for myself. There's this ponies holding up cards and all that. Now, I'll show you. But I'll have to show you in limit. I can't actually do movie maker. What do you think? You may know some of these characters, and I think you know a few of them. Yeah. If you recognize these characters, let me know. I know it looks plain, but hey, he did ask me to draw all of his friends in this video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. And in due time, next week, you'll see me as my pony. But for now, it's just human for today. So, adios, amigos. Bye-bye, boo, and <laughs> she wanted to say hello. <laughs> also, before I leave, I have some words to say to people who have been doing so many nice things for me at my um, at YouTube. A lot of people have been subscribing to my channel, and I appreciate it so much that all of you have been subscribing to my channel. I'll mention the latest newest character, newest newest people have subscribed to my channel. I have 159 subscribers. War Ringu Shu Man War, Brony for Life 2-5050, Scary Gun Animation, Video Mastro, Tropical or Tropical Yua, Transform Brat. Kili Kushu, Kili Zoo, the Demon Jackal, Aaron Wolf Paws, Josh Pony, and of course, one of my dearest friends, Shania Dream, Demon Wolf. I haven't mentioned her before, but I just want to do this as a thanks video. And there are still those who are still like me. There's, there are still, and there are three good pony, and there, are, and there are two others who are still on my channel that are still stayed with me, even if I did a lot of bad luck. And I'm not going to mention them because I'd rather not. I'd rather not. They're going to be unknown to you for once. But also, I enjoy being a part of this group. And it's called the New Entertainment Cafe. Of all of us, different bronies go to there. I know that there's not much new of it, but it's a new group of YouTube. If you go to the all-new um, Entertainment Cafe, it's a place for all bronies, all new bronies, get to be a part of it. And believe me, being a part of it is awesome. Here are the members, here are the members in it. And they're all very nice people. And bronies. Definitely bronies. The members of our group is, let's see. I do believe, E.T. Channel Studios, Bella Heart Lover, Derpy Best Pony, Dolly and Bruce, Lightning Raid, 
Music Broom, I mean Bloom, Tis Channel, Vanessa, MLP Friends, White Eclipse Audio Drama, Star Capture, Blue IP, VA, and there were a few more, but that's all I have to say. Oh, and of course, one of my favorite friends is in the list too, is in our, is in our little group, Jessica Pedley. For she was one of my friends that inspired me to do a lot of drawing. A lot of these bronies inspired me to draw. I am inspired to draw, I do the best I can. Even though I don't have all the technology like everyone else does, or every pony has, but I do the best I can with what I have. And what I have is MS Paint, Movie Makers, and Editing. So guys, thank you for all supporting my videos and my channel. I love you all. You guys are awesome. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm lucky. <laughs> See you guys.